dope ride. But I was sitting on some bullshit. I needed some rims bad. And I knew just how to get them. And I sure in the hell wasn't gonna pay for them. All I had to do was catch some food slipping and jack his ass. Fuck I want, nigga. I want your motherfucking Dayton's and your motherfucking stereo. And I'll take a double burger with cheese. What? Motherfucker, order my motherfucking food. Hi, may I take your order, please? Uh, let me have a double burger, uh, some fries. What the fuck I said with cheese, nigga? Shit. Hey, yo, uh, make that, uh, double burger with cheese. See, y'all made me shoot your stupid ass over nothing. Hey, come on, man, we supposed to be brothers. Oh, what, you trying to get smart? Nigga, are you trying to kick some knowledge? Nigga, fuck that, nigga. Give me your motherfucking jury, nigga. Take that shit off. Oh, you got a pager, too? You're ballin', huh? You're ballin'? You're this motherfucking shit. Better me than the motherfucking cops, nigga. Yo, what's up? Chillin'. Yeah, I had to creep up on some food today. Drive through. Trying to high sign and shit. I had to get him. Shalom. Wa the wada Yahweh Bashmi Awa Shai Bahashem Lakakwadash for giving us the understanding of the Holy Bible through the Holy Spirit and more importantly through their men, starting with the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who are worthy of double honors. And I want to say Yahweh Bashmi Awa Shai Bahashem Lakakwadash Bakatham. To the 144,000 servants of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai and the remaining elect of the nation of Israel. So I just came across an article from Complex magazine that uh, irritated me concerning the mind state of Jake and the wicked of our people. Okay, our people, of course, being the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of you so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, collectively over here in America, North America, Babylon the Great, which is slated for destruction in the very near future. And what's going to happen is that, according to Zechariah 13, verse 8, we can start there. There's going to be a large portion of our people that's going to get caught up in this coming destruction. Okay, that's coming from our Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, with the holy angels. Okay, during the time of World War Three, This is Zechariah 13, verse 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, all the land, is singular, referring to the land of America, the United States, a.k.a. known in the Bible as Babylon the Great. It says, Say if the Lord, whose name in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, that's who you ignorant Israelites out there refer to as God and Jesus Christ. It says, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Okay, and that's a large portion of our people that's going to be destroyed. And this is where we get the term two third from. All right, because two third of you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, the Israelites, two third of you are going to be destroyed for your for your wickedness. Okay, and for your nigger mentality, as we're going to read in this article concerning this individual, Nardo Wick, 
okay, which I don't know too much about this guy at all. I just came across him tonight. I'm not sure if he's still got this mentality, but the mentality that he once had, you know, before he got put on, so to speak, was a very, was a very, um, niggerish mentality, okay, and our Lord isn't delivering no, you know, nigger mentality or no nigger, you know, this go around, only the elect of Israel that are right in the spirit, that's who our Lord is going to come back and deliver, man, in which we're hoping to be, okay, and we're exhorting you Israelites out there to get right, okay, to repent of this nigger mentality and of your sins, man, you know, because as we're reading here, a time of great judgment is ahead, okay, it says two parts therein shall be cut off and die, and that ultimate destruction is going to come, like I said, during the time of World War Three, when the Lord has these different countries around the world to shoot and launch their nuclear missiles upon each other, primarily hitting America, Okay, because America is going to be wiped off of the face of the earth by way of these nuclear missiles and the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, with the holy angels, because they're coming with fire too, in the form of those laser beams, that concentrated fire that's going to come out of the chariots, out of these so-called UFOs. It says, but the third shall be left therein. And the third is referring to the blessed elect of the nation of Israel, okay, in whom our Lord, Yahweh Bashmei Hashem, is going to show mercy to, and like I said, that's who we're hoping to be, man, you know, we're hoping to be of the elect of the nation of Israel, also known as the Israel of the Most High, pursuant to Galatians 6 and verse 16, those of us that have returned back to our true nationality, Okay, acknowledging ourselves as being Hebrew Israelites, being circumcised in the heart and the spirit, rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability, which is to you know keep the law, statutes, and commandments as best as we can, pursuant to um, Judges five verse eleven. You know, and pretty much doing the will of our Lord, you know, on a daily basis, you know, as best as we can us men that have received this truth we're doing the will of the lord by going out there and teaching you know teaching others you know so we're hoping to be of the one third you know over here in america to be exact that's going to be delivered man but jakes that have this mentality the nardo wick mentality you know you ain't, you ain't gonna make it man you know you're just not gonna make it because as we're going to read here, man, I mean, this, this guy's mentality is just, you know, it was, it was wicked, you know, I'm not sure if he still has this mentality, but, you know, this is the mentality of two third of our people, man, you know, the straight up wickedness and, you know, our Lord is not going to tolerate this, man. This is why judgment is coming, man, 2022, you know, that judgment is definitely coming and, um, well, no, let's just get into this headline. It says, Nardo Wick released his statement after admitting he once preferred robbing people to having a real job. And you see, this is why our Lord, you know, had laws like this set up. When we go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 21, and I believe the point is in verse 18. It says, if a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him, will not hearken or listen unto them, then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of, the, of his city and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of his city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones that he die. 
So shall thou put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. Okay, and you know, this is something that our people, for the most part, lack. You know, they, they lack the fear of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and, you know, our Lord and Saviour, Yahweh Shai. And this is why our Lord, Yahweh Bashmah Shai, is going to destroy two thirds of our people because they just don't have that fear. Now, of course, this is an ancient law that we used to keep that can't be implemented in the society because Esau Edom is in rulership. Okay, hence what it says here when we go to the book of, let's see, Habakkuk chapter 1. And we'll start here in verse 1. It says, the burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see, O Lord, or O Yahweh, how long shall I cry and thou will not hear, even cry unto thee of violence. Another word for violence in this uh, instance is injustice. And thou will not save. And this is how the men of the Lord feel at times, you know. When you're crying unto your how bash me shy, when you're sighing and crying, praying unto your how bash me shy for this place to be destroyed. You know, at times it feels like the Lord is not, you know, hearing our cries, but he is, man. You know, everything goes down on the on the Lord's time. He tells us that in the book of Second Ezra four and verse thirty seven. So we just have to be patient. Okay. In your patience, possess uh, ye your souls. You read about that. Now, verse 3 says, Why does thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that raise up strife and contention. Yeah, such as, you know, Jake's like this, man. Not a wick. Right? Boys in the hood mentality. He says, Therefore, the law is slacked, and judgment doth never go forth. Yeah, because, like I brought out in Deuteronomy 21, verse 18, there's a law and there's a judgment for rebellious and stubborn jakes like this, man. Okay. But it can't go forth because why? Esau is in rulership, as it's going to say. It says, Therefore, the law is slacked and judgment, the judgment of Deuteronomy 21 verse 18, as an example, doth never go forth. Why? For the wicked, which is Esau, Edom, we know that pursuant to Malachi 1 verse 4, Esau being the borders of wickedness. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. The righteous are our people, the Israelites, who were given the law, statute and commandments by the heavenly father, Yahweh through our forefather Moses, Marsha in the ancient Hebrew. It says, therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth. Yeah, because Esau is in rulership and this is why Esau is about to be taken out of the way because wrong judgment is going forth in the earth, man. Okay. Therefore, our Lord needs to raise up one that's profitable for... Um, for this world, in which he's doing so in the form of Yahweh Shai and his uh, cabinet, the 144,000 servants, okay, that are going to rule this world, the new world, so to speak, in righteousness, okay, upon the laws, statutes, and commandments of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. And that's pursuant to Sirach chapter 10, verse 1 on down. Now here it says, Nardo Wick wants to make it very clear that robbing people is no longer okay in his book, All right? Which that's good, you know, if this Jake is really sincere about that, that's a, you know, good sign of repentance. And that's, you know, that's where you want to be at, man. You know, in the spirit of repentance, repenting of your wicked ways, man. It says, the Florida rapper explained his position via Instagram. On Thursday, after receiving some backlash over comments made during an appearance on the Big Facts podcast, at one point during the sit-down, Nardo was questioned about his come-up and his life before signing to a major record label. He explained there was a time when he would 
regularly robbed people to get thousands of dollars in cash, which he preferred to work in a legitimate job. Yeah, because he was stubborn, rebellious, and he had that spirit of laziness upon him, man. You know, which all our people, you know, have fallen to that spirit. You know, even me, myself, I was once in that spirit. But, you know, uh, hey, through the grace of Yahweh Bashmah Shai, the Lord cleaned me up, man. The Lord cleaned me up. And this is why our Lord has raised up his servants, the prophets, to go out there and rebuke Jake, you know, rebuke our people. Hence what it says here in the book of uh, Isaiah 58 and verse 1. It says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. The Lord's people are the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. It says, and the house of Jacob, their sins. And what sin? Sin pursuant to 1 John 3 verse 4 is the transgression of the laws. What laws? The laws of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, in which our people have transgressed. Hence, the predicament that our people are in right now. You know, facing the curses of uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 on down. You know, in which we're trying to break these curses. But the only way we can break these curses is through our Lord, man. Yahweh Shai. And through this word, okay, as is written, what's that? John chapter 8, verse 32. Uh, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set ye free roughly paraphrasing so this is why it's important for us to you know teach our people the right way man via these scriptures via the words of our lord yahweh in hopes that they will get themselves right you know but anyway reading on here it says i will just look at it like i will go rob a nigga and get this much why would i go to work for a week nardo said but you got to think, for real, if I go do this to somebody and get $7,000, $5,000, why I'm finna to go to work for two weeks and make $500? Hell no. Okay, and you know, like I said, you know, this is the mind state of a real nigga, man. You know, robbing other Israelites. You know, this is wickedness, but, you know, this is a part of the curses. We're not ignorant to that. You know, pursuant to Deuteronomy 28, and I believe verse 54, it speaks about how, you know, our eye shall be evil towards our brother. You know, but nonetheless, this is wickedness, man. This is wickedness. And this is why our Lord has a controversy with Jake, you know, pursuant to this here. In the book of Hosea, chapter 4. And verse 1, it says, Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. And the way you hear the word of the Lord is by way of his servants, the prophets. Okay. And his servants, the prophets are out there on the highways and byways. Week in, week out. Day in, day out. Okay. Starting with the men of Great Millstone. It says, Ye children of Israel, for Yahweh have a controversy, which is a dispute. With the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth nor mercy nor knowledge of the most high in the land by swearing and lying and killing and stealing aka robbing and committing adultery okay physical adultery you know sleeping with another man's wife and spiritual adultery in the sense of you know being caught up in all these different religions worshipping false gods and whatnot. It says, they break out and blood touches blood. And this is why our Lord has a controversy with Jake. Okay, and he's going to settle this controversy during the time of uh, Jacob's trouble, man. Jeremiah 30, verse 7, where all types of evil is going to fall upon you Israelites that are rebellious, man. Okay, that are wicked and rebellious and that don't want to repent or adhere unto the voice of Yahweh Bashmah Shai that's coming by way of his servants, the prophets. Okay. 
and that evil is going to come in the form of uh, civil unrest, race wars, um, famine, food shortages, concentration camps that Esau has set up throughout the United States to torture, you know, eugenics, and ultimately, you know, the, the great and dreadful day of our Lord, Yahweh Bashmel Shai, which is going to come in the form of nuclear missiles, World War Three, and the return of Yahweh Shai with the holy angels and their wrath, okay, in which you don't want to get caught up in that, all right, so, you know, like I said, uh, you know, I came across this article and it irritated me, so I just thought, you know, let me just put, you know, put this on wax and um, send a message out to Jake to to repent, man. You know, to warn Jake of their wickedness. You know, as it's written in Ezekiel three verse seventeen, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, give them warning from me. Okay, and that's what we do, man. We give you warning from you how Bashmel Shai. Because that judgment is around the corner. Hey, and 2022 is gonna be bad, you know, concerning judgment, especially upon you know you Israelites out there that don't have this truth, man. Okay, so now's the time to repent, turn from your wickedness, and get right and decide if you have Bashmel Shai while you while you still have the opportunity to do so. Okay. But anyway, Lord willing, you're edified, and Lord willing, we'll catch you in the next one. Shalom.